Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. What's tiny, multiplies fast, and likes to nibble on your skin? Uh, bed bugs, and according to a new study, the color of your bedding could impact the presence of these unwanted pests. Uh, warning, gross video ahead. These unwanted guests are hard to spot. A few times smaller than a tick, in fact, baby bed bugs are no bigger than the tip of a pen. And the problem usually gets worse before it gets better, which is why the ladies from Lady Killers Pest Control say where there's one bed bug, there's a million. Researchers from the University of Florida have found that's especially true if your bedding is a dark and bold color, like black or red. Being that they're extremely nocturnal, that would only make sense. They're going to be drawn to a dark place. They're going to feel safer. That's where they're going to want to go. I can totally understand that. But she says the bugs rarely discriminate when hungry. It really doesn't matter what color your sheets are or what you're wearing necessarily. They could be light or dark. Bed bugs in particular, they can go a while without feeding, but ultimately they're going to find a way to feed and they will feed off you. They'll feed off your dog if they have to. They prefer humans, but they're going to eat no matter what. One con to darker bedding is you're less likely to see any signs like a blood trail or fecal matter under the mattress. Though it can't hurt to stick to darker bedding, especially when it comes to hotels and rentals, where turnover is high. These professional hitchhikers know no bounds, so they can easily catch a ride with a guest or your kids when they leave for school, and we all know where that leads. And since prevention is not effective, zapping the infestation early is key. <laughs> Lucky for these lady killers, certified canine bug sniffers Bonnie and Clyde do most of the dirty work. They will only alert to live bed bug activity and they're NESDECA certified so they've um, been evaluated by a third party to verify that yes they they know their scent they're on point and so as if we were to work in here we'd work around the room work around the bed all um, fixtures and um, belonging desk dressers and then they will scratch at the surface or the area in which the bed bugs are. Once the problem areas have been detected, the cleaning process begins. And we use different chemicals. It can be used on mattresses and couches um, versus the outlets and the wood in your floor. So we have to use a variety um, that the state regulates. And then we heat and we'll heat um, each room for a various um, amount of hours. And then we'll chemically treat at the end on our way out once the temperatures come down. It's a dirty job, but I guess someone's got to do it. The ladies tell me that if you have a bed bug problem, you may not notice it immediately. So make sure you check your mattress often, check your furniture, and check for symptoms on your body like redness and welty rash. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org, and don't forget, as always, to sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.